Hello Redditors of the Internet, Noble on here and welcome back to another Reddit video and today we will be looking at r slash nice guys part 44. Let's get started. This first one's titled, I've gone to school with this guy since we were in kindergarten. He was always an a-hole to me as we grew up. I'm 23 now and I found that he liked me on Tinder? Couldn't help but screenshot and post his bio. I'm Christian. I'm conservative. I don't smoke pot. I love whiskey. My pew-pews are my children. I'm self-employed. I go to the gym very frequently. I write for fun and therapy. I've written a book and around 1,500 songs. God damn, that is a lot of songs. I don't think they'd be very good if you're writing that many. I will make jokes about literally anything. Not politically correct. I don't do drugs. I want to take a nap all the time. I'm the nice guy that you don't give a chance because I'm 5'6 and actually a good person until the 6 foot D bag that you like gets you pregnant and leaves you. Facts. Alright, so a nice guy's playing Uno, and this card is played on them. Admit you're not really a nice person, or draw 25. Nice guys. Draws 25 and is sitting there with half the deck in his hand. Alright, time for another Tinder profile. Mark is 24, lives in Manchester, and is just two miles away. I get it. I'm fat, but at least give me the courtesy of letting me shoot my shot. Y'all wonder why you're stuck in a loop, hamster ass women. <laughs> Hamster ass women. Anyway, I'm complex and intricate with a lot of interests and hobbies. You like music? I could talk about my favorite artists for days. I can even play a little. Like reading? I do too, and I even write. Let's face it, most men these days play video games in their spare time, and I'm no exception. Don't like it? Move on. Like animals? I do. Ask me about my pets. This next one's titled Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. And I'd be down, but I kinda have a rule where I don't meet up with people until I get to know them at least a little bit. Hello, well, you and every insecure girl on the internet who watches way too much serial killer crap. Haha, <laughs> but whatever keeps you asleep at night, I guess. Just saying, it doesn't matter how long you talk to someone, crap can go south always, lol. Hey, it's not being insecure, it's being safe. LOL, whatever helps you sleep at night, dude. Quit watching too much TV. Brainwashed. Not every guy is gonna kill you. LOL, why are you so mad that I want to get to know you first? This dude thinks safety is a joke. Whatever happened to building trust first? This next one is gonna have to be a zoinks for me, Scoob. Scooby is 24 years old and is just 4 kilometers away. So I'm Black69, also own a Porsche, I will lie to you instantly. Trust easily, fall in love quickly, I like nothing better than beating women up for fun. I also eat meat and hate drinking beer, I absolutely hate jungle and can't stand people that do. If you're interested then get in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. My last bio had not much luck, let's see if you ladies fall for me with this one. Damn, talk about that nice guy to a-hole transformation. So, a guy added my sister randomly and... Who are you? I mean, I can wait, though it's a valid question. I can sit here and wait. I don't care who you think you are, fam, you're not gonna ignore me. Bro, I'm kinda busy right now. On Facebook and busy aren't the same in any way. They opposites, LMAO, so no. Unless someone is dying in your arms or something drastic like that, otherwise... You know what, if you're gonna be like this, then don't message me. Bruh, busy is work, school, class, studying or something bad. If you're doing one of those things, let me know. Don't ignore me. I'm at a baby shower, so bye. Baby shower always requires Facebook, I forgot. LOLOL, you could just be cool and normal and text me so this isn't an issue, and make life much easier and smarter. So we're gonna go with the mature route and simple route, or the not so much route. Which? LOL. I don't really want to talk to you at all. Well, I don't know you, so that's impossible. I mean, I wish it was possible so you could be validated in saying it, but you're not, so we're talking. So how was the baby shower? I mean, I'm patient, but damn, I'm not going anywhere, dude, lol. Why would I talk to you when you're so rude? Take a hint. Dude, I wasn't rude. I asked how the baby shower was. How is that rude? You were rude when you first messaged me. No, all I said was it doesn't take Facebook to complete a baby shower. Then you got all mad and I said ignoring me won't work. I wasn't rude, if I was trying to be rude, trust me, you'd know, but I'm not at all, I'm not rude, lol. To me, you were very rude, so I don't really want to talk to you. 
If you stepped over your pride, you could see that. I'm like the nicest person you know. You can decide who you want to talk to when I'm purposefully rude. Rude isn't perception, rude is intention. My intention wasn't to be rude, so it's not gonna be taken as rude. And we were gonna be civilized, not rude people, and chat normally. And no, I'm not going away until you can respect the maturity in that and just do it. So you want to be pestered or just chat normally? Which one? I don't think harassing someone and trying to force them to speak to you is exactly civilized. Sounds like someone who needs to get blocked. This next one is a nice guy who lies about having COVID-19 to see some titty. I've got COVID-19, please can't you fulfill my last wish? That's incredibly disrespectful and disgusting that you would lie about that. I am not. Then show me, prove it. I've been quarantined at home for the last 14 days. If I prove it, would you fulfill my last wish? By the way, it's not deadly for anyone that isn't old or an infant that doesn't have a pre-existing health condition. So it's not your last wish, which does, which goes to show how uninformed you are. It leads to multiple organ failures. And sure, if you can show me your positive test result with your full name and the hospital on it, sure. LOL, no it doesn't. Once this leads to SARS or MERS, whoa, really? Oh my god, those are other illnesses. Let me get this test done. Also, the OP clarified she meant to say not as deadly in the text, which is much closer to correct. Oh, another corona post. Coronavirus makes for strange times and even stranger guys. I can't die from coronavirus, I haven't even lost my virginity yet. Call the guy you friendzoned and lose it ASAP. And someone comments, imagine being so desperate, you'd sleep with someone with coronavirus. This next one's titled, oh no, not a foiled plan. I've been nothing but a good guy to her and then you show up only to try and foil my plans. Dude, I don't even like her, so chill out. No wonder your attempts are failing. You are a creep. You liar, don't make me eliminate you. Eliminate you? Foiled plans? This dude is straight up acting like one of the most cliched villains I've ever seen. This next one simply titled, It's Very Big and Handsome. You're really pretty, I love your brows and nose ring. Thanks. Note to self, don't send a D-pic, haha. <laughs> LOL, nope. Haha, <laughs> even though it's very big and handsome, so I've been told, I'll do my best to keep it to myself. Ew. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry if that offended you. I was joking around, but I apologize. I don't get offended, I just find saying a meat rod is big and handsome is gross. It's a dong, they're not attractive under any circumstances. Haha, <laughs> think if you saw mine, you'd change your opinion on that. What is actually going through your head right now? Haha, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm gonna send anything, I was just saying if I did. Look, I'm very sorry for coming off in a way that you don't like, I'm not trying to. I can leave you alone if you'd like. First of all, I have no desire whatsoever to see it in my lifetime. I'd rather be deaf, blind, get the coronavirus, have drinks with Bill Cosby and Bill Clinton, and be on Malaysia Flight 370 all at the same time than to hear about how good you think your Monster D is. Second, the way you've been talking about it, I'm pretty sure you're- And she cuts off the rest of this epic response. Damn it, I wanted to read it all. For this next one, so my friend's cat died yesterday and this nice guy decided to not give the space she needs to grieve. Guy was blocked on Facebook and somehow got her Snapchat and sent this. Actually, I do know the first thing about comfort. Have you ever comforted the person you love the most and then watched them die? Have you ever comforted your mother as she cried while standing over her best friend? As she quickly died, sorry I hurt you, and I do know how to speak to women, don't know what I was doing, but come to know nice guys finish last. Every time I just try to get to know a woman without getting sexual fast, they move or I get ignored or they lose interest. I'm a good guy, I'm not gonna try to persuade you, you ignored me the whole time I was just trying to talk, and then the moment things get lustful, you do like that, but it's okay, sorry your cat died, with a crying emoji, thought you were pretty, but I can be a guy and hit on you, or be sexually attractive to you cause it's wrong, right? This next one's titled, aw, how sweet, even though I've said multiple times I'm not gonna send him anything. Cause I don't know you, B, can you just send your tits for the moment and C, if you wanna have some fun, I can send you too. LMAO, um, I'll pass. Please. Let me say this again, no. 
Why the hell did you take a screenshot? Because it's pissing me off that you keep asking what I've already clearly said no. I don't want to send you any freaking pictures of me, dude. Don't freaking care about that. Just why the hell did you take a screenshot, B? I'm so freaking glad I said no. Because I took a screenshot to show my friends, ooh, and I'll take another one too since you're being a B about it. And now you're on Reddit too, ooh. This next one was seen on Facebook. Apologies if it's a repost. Your hair looks small. Okay? You can't freaking take a compliment, huh? That was meant to be a compliment? Yes, it was. Now take it or else. This next one sums it all up. Girls in a loving relationship. Being hugged. Nice guys. Sitting there looking sad. Nice guys who just never get the chance. Nice guys who would literally treat you like a queen break up with Chad and stop ignoring my DMs you freaking be. I feel so bad for the cat in this one representing the nice guy. Poor cat didn't do anything to deserve that. For this next one, nothing like dealing with a nice guy first thing in the morning. I turned a guy down this morning and he blew the hell up. Like he was hitting on me, calling me beautiful, offering to buy me coffee, etc. And I said, I'm very flattered, but I'm married, sorry. And now I'm a lying, fat, ugly, stupid, worthless. And he was just kidding and would never go after a girl like me. And I'm also gonna die alone. Ah, some men these days. This next one is titled, he had a crush on me for a while in school. I rejected him because I was in a relationship and he went home and posted this. Y'all girls need to make up your mind, I just want a lasting relationship. I treated every one of my exes right and I respected them and trusted them. But no, they'd rather date an a-hole. Try to change him, fail, get heartbroken, and preach. All guys are the same. I need a loyal girl who lives close my age and isn't insecure and doesn't start drama and works. And doesn't give me the silent treatment because I prefer to discuss the problem so we can fix it. And doesn't listen to people lying on me saying I'm cheating and crap. Damn nobody want to see a country boy happy. Also, I can ride a four-wheeler like nobody's business and your folks will like me. This next one was lurking here for a long time but couldn't resist posting this since I stumbled upon this gem of a dude. This girl in my bio lecture fell asleep and the guy beside her took her clicker and answered all the questions so she still got credit. And someone replies, I hope they get married. And the nice guy replies, married? She'll probably tell him he's a nice guy and proceed to sleep with the first unemployed bad boy with full tat sleeves she sees. Damn it, why do nice guys always have to derail everything? This next one apparently didn't read the whole tweet. My little sister's boyfriend woke up at 4am to Uber with her to the airport so she wouldn't be in an Uber alone with a stranger. The last guy I dated punched a wall and kicked me out of his house at 3am because I told him my poodle was actually a person wearing a dog suit. And the nice guy replies, people never give the nice guy a chance. This next one's about as smooth as the butter hardened in his arteries. Was just curious of the threat of death, if you'd be willing to give a fat nice guy a chance. In the middle of a frickin' crisis, these are my DMs. Wow. Do you wanna let Cole message you? They won't know you've seen their message until you accept. Probably hit delete right after taking the screenshot. This next one was set after blocking on WhatsApp for loads of manipulative self-deprecation on why I would get sick of him. Wow, what a cow. Hope you fall off your high horse. Why the hell give me your number, then give me crap chat, then delete me for being right? You could have just said you weren't interested. Your head's in the clouds, just like every other pretty girl. Screw you. Now we go to OkCupid okay for this next one. Thomas is 24. My self-summary. I've been rejected too many times to continue putting effort into people. I have no relationship or intimate experiences. And seeing how women only date D-bags, it'll probably stay that way forever. I really don't understand why guys put stuff like this in their profile. It's like you're literally putting don't date me please in your dating profile. This next one's titled how underage are you? I'm sorry if I'm bothering you. I know I probably sound crazy or something. Dude, I'm a minor. I didn't know that. How old are you? Still in high school. Oh, all right. So like 17, I graduated at Bremerton High. Okay. How underage are you? You look 17 or 18 at least. Underage enough if you have to ask that. Alright, I'm sorry for bothering you. Well, he did say sorry and then moved on, but... Asking how underage are you is still creepy as hell. 
Another dude mad at the world cause he never gets any buns? Poor guy. Excuse me, I get coochie all the time. I'm smashing a girl I met online ain't even met yet Tuesday. I don't like thoughts cause I'm traditional as hell. Real 1950s nuclear family perfect world when we had morals, values, and pride, class, and dignity. Long before we resorted to applauding Lizzo for dressing like trash and shaking her overweight diabetic ass on national television. Go home, you're beneath me. This next one is a nice guy who proceeded to insult the OP on her channel after being blocked after repeated requests to show cleavage in her videos. What your subscriber number at now? Probably not near 100k cause you're still fully clothed, but congrats on where you are anyway. Right, because in order to get a lot of subscribers on YouTube, you gotta appeal to thirsty neckbeards, right? This last one is titled, Ugh, the character in question is even in a relationship with the girl. Honestly, the world needs more guys like Justin. Guys like Justin never get the time of day with women. However, that kind of guy is exactly what women say they want, but instead go with someone who would just stand and watch as some stranger groped them. Instead of someone like Justin who ran after the dude to beat his ass and protect his girlfriend. But guys like Justin are also the ones that get cheated on with some dude who doesn't give a crap about them. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Peter Dankledge, Seth Southwell, Spoonie the Rogue, Cabirdi, and Forever Tired. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.